it's the Australian Cup race 14 uh, there's a big old field here I doubt if I'll get through them all I have enough trouble with about 10 as we're going to wait for the card up to come up and here it comes or maybe not it's the Australian Cup mate all right there, Blue. I can't really do an Australian accent, but I'll try. So it's over 10 furlongs, one mile two. Booker Tallis and Martin Lee and Brunson, Hand Jones, Hensley on Daryl Hinton, Matrix Tam King, Petter Popper, Blackie, Cabeza T, Southern Tower, Leon, Whistletown, Jim Murray, Bally Dancer, Martin Leadham, Cy Sunlight, Dan Hughes, Sky Blue Knights, Darren Thompson, Soap Opera for Molly at Surfer, Variety Performance, D French, Cyclone for Django, Fear Lies and Tits for Molly at Surfer, Hyphy Peters for Vinnie Girard, Django's Duel for Django, Spring Loaded for David Robson, Storm in Norman for Paul Rhodes, Anne of Troy for Paul Rhodes, Blue Earth for Darren Thompson, Cash in Your Chips for somebody else, which I think was Joshua, and the last couple I probably missed were Chis creator and I'm not sure what the other one was but they're already away here Rose Sword I think which is the one really out wide here in the black silks which is number 23 and they're already through the first furlong and a half and we're going to be led by Soap Opera so Soap Opera pushing himself well off into the lead here he's going to try and steal it from the front and we're through the first two and it's Soap Opera a few of them wide on the course here cash in your chips is very wide whistle town in the black and red silks of uh, both Jim Morgan and Josh Sutherland. One on the inside of that is Anne of Troy. Closer to the fence is Brunston Blue Earth, Storming Norman, which uh, was very storming last week, I remember calling that. He certainly won it well. He'll be looking to do something similar. One's at the rear of Southern Tower and Book of Talism. And the other grey, obviously the Book of Talism, I think was the Group 3 winner over the dirt last week but it's soap opera that still leads us and the ones that are going really wide are spring loaded not doing themselves any favours they take this left turn here but soap opera's lead's been cut down to nothing now as Whistletown comes over towards the fence and noses in front by half a length but uh, soap opera's not going to let that happen also another Jim Murray horse uh, Rose Saul comes out of the pack Stormy Norman's in a good position as they hit the bend three furlongs out the yellow silks of Cyclone for Django trying to make up some room there's plenty being caught wide as they go around here and all getting a little bit caught but we've been it's being led along by Southern Tower now Leon Van Rensburg Whistletown soap opera Rose Sword, Stormy Norman all over by the fence and I imagine it's going to be between these unless Anne of Troy can do something that's out wide but we're inside as we hit the furlong pole it's Rose Sword, Stormy Norman, Southern Tower, Soap Popper out wide, Anne of Troy but up front it's Rose Sword and Stormy Norman it's these two and neck and front inside the final half of furlong and it's Stormy Norman, Rose Sword, Stormy Norman, Rose Sword, Southern Tower oh Stormy Norman I think may just well have hung on there but it was on a head bob it's only going to be a nose let's have a look a lot of them didn't get into that race. They got caught on the bend coming round. And it is Stormy Norman just by a neck, I think, to Rose Sword in second. Southern Towers third. So that's a double for Stormy Norman. Two races, two wins. That's a good 10 furlong horse. So well done, Paul Rhodes there with Stormy Norman. Second was Rose Sword for Jim Murray by a short head. Third was Southern Tower for Leon Van Rensburg. Fourth was Sky Blue Knights for Darren Thompson didn't get a mention and was fifth was Matrix of Tam King which I also didn't mention but a big old field there a lot of them got caught wide not really had much chance in that race so if you were drawn got a good draw I'll wait for the draws to come up yeah Southern yeah, let's have a look Norman's, yeah, Stormy Norman is out of four Rose Sword out of ten Southern Tower out of one and Sky Blue Knights out of two you needed a low draw there to have any chance in that one